Hello, Scorpio. It's your March 2018 reading. And I have to say this every time. I know, I know. This may not resonate with everyone. Or the energies may be reversed. But they are for who they are intended to. Because I asked the universe to bring them to me that needs to hear this message. So, Scorpio, what is going on in March 2018? Scorpio, March 2018. Scorpio, March 2018. I do, make, I do shuffle these prior, meditate on Scorpio, on the signs that I'm doing beforehand every single time. Let's find out what's going on now. Got the sun card up, right? Sun shining in your life, hmm? Good thing, huh? Um, I'm gonna go with these other cards in a minute. These clarifying cards. I'm gonna get these straight out. See what's going on. Knight of Swords, reverse. What's crossing it is the truth. So a truth came out about something. Maybe some sunshine came out on somebody. Like uh, information really came out. <laughs> Maybe, maybe some sneaky behavior, possibly. Yeah, something came out. Yeah, a decision was made. Tower, you found out something. Something came to light. Something that was pretty much... Uh, positive for you in a way because it's something you need it probably to find out you know it's kind of hard to explain this but the sun card shows a good omen in it that it, you found out something and you may have had your truth and said something and it could very well have to do with a, a air element because you got the knight of swords reversed as a subject and it could be an air element like i said it could be an aquarius gemini or libra or it could be, have to do with the water energy, too. You could be doing with two different people and a, a, a truth came out. Maybe you spoke your truth. That could be your energy. Um, I'm seeing that as you speaking your truth or someone spoke their truth to you. You can tell me in the comments. Because it's definitely there. In the past, you got the seven of wands. That's self-defensive. Being very self-defensive over something that didn't come through that you wanted. Or maybe someone wanted this from you. Like I said, it could be vice versa. But someone got self-defensive over something they felt that was their their right to have, a good fortune. Maybe they were expecting a good fortune and it didn't happen and they got defensive. Now, as your goal, we got the Seven of Swords reversed. So that could be very well sneaky behavior coming out that did come out or that you were trying to get to come out. One thing about Scorpio is kind of hard to hide things from them. Could be someone you had a formal relationship with. Someone in a past relationship with. Or maybe you're trying to find out something. Your goal is to find out something from about someone in the past relationship. I'm trying to get this out. Or they could be doing that with you. Now at the foundation, there's a tower moment. This has already happened. This is current. It's the foundation. So you might have really found out about something with this Ace of Swords. A truth came out. And it wasn't something you were expecting. And it kind of left you really surprised. I mean, really kind of, you know, knocked you for a loop. Why is the Tower card there? Why is the Tower card there for Scorpio? There's your energy again. I'm going to get one more card. That doesn't tell me much, does it? It's Queen of Cups. She's in the upright. It's a good thing with a tower situation. She can handle it, or he can handle it. The water energy. Yeah, it could be over an uh, irate King of Wands. So you may have had this situation over a King of Wands or, or a Sword energy. They're both reverse so they're not exactly the most pleasant people to be around and you may have said your truth something may have happened and something came crumbling down but in the near future you got the knight of discs on the way let's find out what they're about they're in the upright 
They're stable. They're independent. They got good character. Why the night of this? Why are you there? Why are you in the near future for Scorpio? Why are you in the near future for Scorpio? They may help you out with a victory you didn't have with this situation over here. They may help you straighten it out somewhat because I had that for somebody else. But the Knight of Disc, like I said, is someone who knows what they're doing and they give they're they're really uh they give steady advice just like some of the air signs that do. But this person's in the upright and they're usually, you know, they know what they're talking about, especially when it comes to finances. And they may be helping you with this lost victory that you had. So it's going to be pertaining to whatever that occurred here. This person is coming forward. Let's get another card for that. Knight of Disc. Can I get another card for the Knight of Disc? Why they're there in the near future for Scorpio? Because that's what we want to know. Hopefully it tells us. Yeah, I'm thinking they're helping you. You lost a little strength, a little energy with this vic with the victory that you thought you had. Because there's a Wheel of Fortune reverse. You thought you had something there with this maybe person. Truth came out. Tower situation. Could be you found out something. Kind of left everybody off kilter, especially you. Now you got the uh, magician. It's in your uh, thoughts, feelings, possible future outcome. And it's in the upright. Magician, as you know, they have all the tools and know what they, they, they need to do. I always think of the Scorpio as the magician. They got keen, you know, keen insight about certain situations. They're pretty, you know, got good intuition. They know how to work things when they really want to. So this could be your outcome here. It also could be in your thoughts that you could do this. Why is a magician there? There's a, a seven of uh, wands again. That's a self-defense, self-defensive card or self-defensive. So you may be taken up for yourself, and you may, and with this card, you'll be on top. This is someone who wins. They get a little defensive, but they win a lot of times. Now, coming towards you, you got the um, four of wands, and that's not a happy environment, not a happy home, not a happy celebration, and that's a given here for what this situation that happened but I want to get some more clarification as why is it the outside environment it's not you doing this is someone coming towards you or something else caused it. it has something to do with the home celebrations completions why is it there over a collaboration you were supposed to have it didn't work out with this person as you already know and it kind of upsets your home your, you know your inner self and your hopes and fears is temperance is balance you're, you're hoping to keep balance it's got to be a hope why is it there why is the hope card there the art card the balance card I should say temperance Like a, something that didn't come through a heartbreaking situation could very well could be a relationship, but it could be a collaboration too that you had someone you trusted. It didn't work out. It's in the past, and you're trying to get the balance back in that situation. And the final outcome, you get your uh, a judgment. You get uh, something goes in your favor. It's in the upright. Let's find out for sure though. Why is the judgment card there? Yep, you're gonna work hard at something else. You're going, you're going towards something else. You're making a decision to go elsewhere and do whatever you want. You're gonna work, you're gonna work with someone else. I'm thinking, because you weren't happy in that situation, whatever was occurring. You're going on to something else, Scorpio. You're not, you're not standing. You're not waiting for all this to happen. It already happened. You're not gonna sit there and stand by and let it keep on going. So that's your reading. I'm gonna give another one in March. We have Mercury retrograde coming up again. Yay, yay, yay! See you later. Bye.